So every now and then we have a situation come up from time to time when you're breeding reptiles where things don't go according to plan. Uh, today is such one of those days. We are dealing with this little albino desert king and she recently laid a clutch of eggs, which is why she's really slim, but she's got a few more eggs in her and it seems like she has been bound up. Um, we have given her about four days to lay these eggs on her own and she hasn't laid them. So we are going to try to manually remove these eggs from her um, because if we don't, she'll end up dying with these eggs in her. So we're going to uh, open up her vent area a little bit and uh, we're gonna take her out. Anna's going to actually secure her head um, so that she's not flailing around a lot. Now, one other thing I want to do, um, definitely want to get some Vaseline out of here. I'm just going to smear it right there. And I want to put a little Vaseline in this area. Just want to go in there and just kind of open this up a little. make sure that that's well done we're gonna come back here to where the last egg is right here and try and push it back down toward that vent just a little bit of pressure here So, looks like we have got one of these eggs perforated. Okay, you don't have to do this. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead. So there's that egg. Now we're gonna come back up here and work this next one down. And we're being very careful. I'm not pushing any harder than is necessary to bring this egg down and to manually push it out. So there we go. Now we're gonna place her back into her enclosure. And as you can see, tongue's flickering, she's okay. She's gonna be fine. So we saved her life. She won't die from being egg bound. We're gonna give her a little bit to rest and then we're gonna offer her up a meal.